Trainee leadership at ASHG actually looks like all other leadership at ASHG, which I think is one of the really great things about how it's set up. Uh, trainees are integrated at every level, from the community outreach to the committees that run the society, all the way up to the board of directors, like myself. And the really excellent thing is that it's not training positions in these committees. Trainees are equal members, so they have the voting powers, their ideas are listened to. We're really there as members of whichever committee uh, trainees end up uh, deciding to join. And we are directing the way that the society is moving, the way that the society is addressing issues, the way that the society is continuing to grow, the same as researchers who have decades of experience. If you are new to ASHG and don't really know the structure, there's a great outline online. And if one of those interests you, talk to the current committee members. Um, any of those are listed online, or you can reach out to anyone you know in the society and they could get you in touch. Um, but really, the committees are the working elements of the society, and they're really the pieces that are focused on a specific goal that the society has set out. Anything from running the annual meeting, which is a huge endeavor, uh, to our community outreach, our politics outreach. Um, so th that's a great place to start. Um, on a more local level, we also do a lot of local outreach. Um, one of the big ones is DNA Day, um, and there's plenty of opportunities to get involved, either uh, running uh, experiments in schools, which we'll see how that goes this year uh, and next, um, but also uh, there's a DNA Day contest uh, where high schoolers write essays and we always are looking for people to help review those. And it's just a nice way to kind of uh, spread some of what we're doing and some of our interests to the next generation of geneticists. For me, getting involved with the board of directors, I really wanted to get a peek behind the curtain and see kind of what it is that runs a 9,000 person organization. And what kind of surprised me is that here I entered a room with researchers with decades of experience and I wasn't in the least bit put off. I mean, they were so interested and so collaborative in kind of making sure that the society was running that I was immediately brought in as uh, an equal member and really got the experience and, and the insights that I was looking for. It was enlightening and it was honestly reassuring being at my level of training. I mean, experience with a group the size of ASHG and, and really a national presence um, is an opportunity that you wouldn't find at like just a school level, for instance, uh, or an industry level and where you're a little more in the bubble, which is fine as trainees, but if you want to take that next step out, uh, ASHG is a great way to do start that. Thanks again for watching, and if you'd like to watch more clips like this, go ahead and click on some of the links to my side for more exciting content from this year's ASHG virtual meeting.